Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the Flip the Page book challenge. I think it's originally created by Jesse the Reader. I'm not sure, but if I do find out who created it, I will link that video down below. I found this video through other people doing the video, and so I'm going to be doing that today. Um, I forgot I needed coordinates for this, so I didn't ask people for this. So I'm kind of on my laptop. I keep looking between the camera and the screen but I may or may not have cheated and looked some people up on Twitter because I know some people posted on Twitter to get me some numbers. I don't think it's going to work because I think you need it. Oh my gosh. I think you need a bookshelf but number I don't even know, something like that. So I think I'm gonna do it like, oh my gosh, I don't even know. I'm gonna have to watch the video again because like, I've messed it up. I wanna do it. My bad, I'm calling this the Flip the Page Challenge. I asked you guys over on Twitter, which if you wanna follow me on Twitter, at Jesse the Reader, hit me up. I asked you guys to send me two numbers, one number that will lead me to a specific row on my bookshelf, and the second number will lead me to a specific book. I also asked you guys to send me a page number between one and 400. Using all of these things. Okay, so the first number is for each shelf, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But it's technically nine because you still don't have books on it. Okay, and then I needed a book number. Like, oh yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So there are a group of questions that he has that we're going to answer by picking these books. So basically, what you do is follow the coordinates. So the first coordinate is what shelf you go to. Second coordinate is what book you go to, and the third coordinate is what page number you go to. And I think the f first sentence you see, no, the first thing that you see that relates to the question is your thing. It's kind of making up like your own story of family picking books. So the first question is, if you're getting it, you're getting your identity. Let the coordinates guide you to a book, flip to the page you were given, and the first name you see is now your new name. I feel like I should be writing this down because knowing me, I'm going to forget everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so 4, 24, 286. See, one. Oh, it doesn't have books on it either. 1, 2, 3, 4. 24, 286. So he said 286. Oh, literally just 286. Kai. Kai was not my favorite character. I mean, he, he kind of balanced between I like you and I don't like you. But I am now named Kai. The next one is 42258. I'm gonna not look at it because I know some of them you're not supposed to look. Number two, it's time to get and move the heck out of your town. The location of the book your coordinates lead to will be where you're moving. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please be something good. Um. They're not really talking about going there, they're just talking about a birthday. The mom says grandma has always been busy with her travels and doesn't move on, say more about that. So we're just gonna say their house. The Connor and Alex's house. You're all settled into your new home, you gotta get a job to get that cash flowy go cash money flow going. Create a job using the first object you find with the coordinates and page number. 22279. Okay. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 12, 13, 14. No, I'm gonna get spoiled. No. No, I'm gonna get, this is going to spoil me. Oh my god, I'm scared. I haven't read this one. Queen of Air and Darkness, and I haven't read this one yet, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be spoiled for something. So we're just going to. I'm looking for a job. Oh gosh. Library. Oh, librarian. Bam. Next. <laughs> My name is Kai. I live at the United States, and I'm a librarian. Okay. It's okay to be white. Is trending on Twitter. Okay. 
I'm typing this up just so I can like reference it later. Next question. You started your job and you started developing feelings for a coworker. Find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you're given, and the first kid you come across will be the character you're following for. 115 and 107. Ah, ah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. That is 605, we never said. Haven't read this yet. And page 107. First character you see. Okay, I see one. Do GD Brickman. I don't think that's one of the main characters, but I'm falling in love with Do. Put that over there. In love with Do Brickman. He's all keeps pacing back and forth, and just like you'll be fine. Using the coordinates in the page moment, the first piece of dialogue you come across will be the first thing you say to your potential lover. Why would y'all do that to me? Shelf six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, book 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Finale by Stephanie Garber. Ooh. Ooh. Page 270, yes. The first piece of dialogue. I'm scared. In case you change your mind. That can go a lot of places. Maybe we're talking about our feelings and they deny it or something. And I'm like, well, just in case you change your mind. Hit me up in case you change your mind. Okay. All right, next question is that line really got to them. Next, you know you're in your love. What did I say? You're going to propose with buying a wedding ring. It's too expensive. You need the coordinates and flipping the page to the page number you're given. The first object you come across would be the what you propose with. Oh my God! Why y'all doing this to us? One twenty-three ninety-three. 5, 10, 15, 20, 23. This is When the Stars Lead to You. It is the arc. I'm going to go to page 93. First object, the key. I'm going to the first two words is the key. So let's say I'm giving him a key to my apartment. Hey, we fall in love. Maybe he wants to hang out more, so I'm giving him the key. Who knows? Like, hey, proposing. I think you should move in or hang out more. Here's my apartment key. Well, okay, I'm not an apartment right now. I live in a dorm, so here's my dorm key. Hopefully our roommate won't fight you. <laughs> we arrived at your wedding. Find the book using your coordinates. Flip the page to the page number you're given and first piece of dialogue that will be in the first line of your vows you are evil why is it all ones <laughs> only have like four books left one twenty seventy five four eight twelve sixteen twenty tweet cute by emma lord page seventy five Oh my gosh, I'm gonna spoil myself. I'm not even on page 75 yet. Okay. Wait, what? What was it? The first... The first piece of dialogue will be your first line in the vows. Okay, there isn't dialogue on this page. It, it's they're texting each other. Does that count? No, it's not. They didn't even text each other. It's a tweet they saw. Dang it. Um, let's pick a different coordinate. Same book. It's literally 12010. Oh my god. 12010. Monster cake. So I guess we. I proposed with the key and I.
talked about monster cake in the vows, so maybe that's something we created together and it's a memory I'm bringing up. Who knows? Alright, so the next question. The next question is, it's honeymoon time. Yeah, it's honeymoon time. Wherever the book's location that your corners lead you will be the destination for your lover's retreat. 2, 24, 1, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 24. I can't do it because that's a sampler, so we're going to skip over that. And go to this one. 1, 14. It's such a beautiful edition. Oh, this is um, City of Bones 10th Anniversary Edition. Oh, this is so pretty. All the drawings. 114. The honeymoon destination. The breeze. Williamsburg. There's like 8 million of them, but okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't write some of these down. Dang it. Um, Monster. Monster cake vows. Williamsburg honeymoon. The next question is, things got a little crazy on your honeymoon, now you're expecting the baby. I'm gonna get himself playing these games. With the next coordinates, find your next book and flip to the page number you were given. The first name will be the name of your firstborn child. Coordinates three. One, two, three. Oh, one, two. Oh, perfect. But it says like I don't want to take my books out of their packaging. This is The Girl with Who Played With Fire by Stig Larson. And here you go to page 199. The first name. Ekstrom? Ekstrom? Our child is named Ekstrom. <laughs> Why would y'all do this to me? First child named Ekstrom. The next question is, your child is go- hmm. I skipped over a question. We're time jumping five years and your child is de desperately begging for your pet. Find the book using your coordinates, fit to the page, blah blah blah. The first creature you come across will be your pet. If you don't find a creature, then the first object you find will have to be used as a pet replacement. No. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty-seven. The book we have here is Broken Hearts, Fences, and Other Things to Mend by Katie Finn. I have not read this yet. And we're going to page 348. This doesn't even have a page. This doesn't even have a page 348. It's like... This book ends at 339. Oh my gosh. Pick in the book next to it. Oh my gosh. I don't think this has 348 either. I need to stop. Oh, this doesn't have page numbers on it. Okay, pick the next one. Cradle and all. This is it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm choosing different coordinates because the first three I picked up do not have a 348. So, same question, different coordinates. We have 6, 25, 132. Which I believe is this shot. Um, 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yes! Arch Enemy by Marissa Meyer. This is book 2 in the Renegade series. We're about to get something good out of here. Page 132. Ooh, we get into the action. What are we looking for again? Pet name? Okay. My dog keeps, like, slamming her face in the door because she wants to come in, and it's kind of funny. The first animal. And now she's sniffing very loudly. There's no animal on this page. Um, I believe it said the first object will be your pet replacement. Um, a car. I guess we bought him a toy car instead. That, that works for me. <laughs> Let's see. 
Your child is going to school. Find the book using coordinates. Flip the page of the school, and using that words will create the name of the school. Coordinates. Ooh, I need to scroll down. Six, same shelf. Twenty-seven. Boop, boop. Ninety-two. Ooh. Oh, this is wires in there flying one. I keep forgetting to show you guys the covers and the title names. Oh, it's already 16 minutes. No! Wait, what are we looking for? I already forgot what we're doing. <laughs> Create the name of their school. There's literally like 30 words on this page. Proud Beast High School. I will go with that. That sounds actually like a pretty good school. Proud Beast High school. <laughs> oh, wait, is it elementary school? You know, whatever. You decide you're going to start a YouTube channel for a side hobby. Find the book using your coordinates to the page and find something that will be the core topic of your channel. Core topic six. If that was 27, we're going to 30. From 8 to 9, 30. Page 86. This is Sunset by Aaron Hunter. Page what? Ready for the page? 86. 86. We're looking for my YouTube channel core thing. Yes. Um, I don't know how to answer this one because, like. Find something on that page would be the core topic of your channel. Cats? This book is about cats. This is talking about what the cats were doing. Unless I decide to talk about nature because they're kind of... I guess my channel is about cats even though I don't like cats. <laughs> I mean I do, but I prefer everything else before a cat. That's just me. So the next question is... Find the book using your coordinates, flip to the page number you were given, and giving that word from the page, create a channel name. Y'all are wrong. Y'all, he's so wrong for this. 230. I don't even have 30 books on this. 3, 6, 8, 16. What's 16 plus 8? I don't know. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Right? Yeah, 228 and 198. Which one is this? City of Ashes. Oh, okay. 198. YouTube channel name. Glittering Ripples. Sure. My channel name is called Glittering Ripples. I have a stack of books over here that I'm using with glittering ripples channel name. I feel like there's mosquitoes in here because I keep getting like itchy and I um, I found like three spots of like I might have been bitten by something, but I don't know. Uh, the first piece of dialogue you see will be how you greet your viewers, e viewers each time you start the video. And those coordinates are... 327, 368. 6, 9, 18, 20, no wait, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. What was the number? It is 27. No, I don't want to take it out of the packaging. I have this beautiful box set of Lander stories and it's still wrapped up, but I guess today is the day we open it. Does anybody have something? Does anybody have scissors? Scissors? Happy New Year, Sydney welcomes- Oh, I forgot their country, they're ahead of us. 
everything over there is ahead of us. I'm like, how are we at New Year's already? What? It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Not even 10 o'clock. Oh my god, they're falling out. Don't fall out. Don't fall out. No. I'm putting them back. Oh, this box set is very flimsy. I'm scared that the box, like the actual box it's in, is going to fall apart. It was 327. Then the stories of World Collide. This feels so light. Oh my gosh. And we're going to go to page 368 to find out what, or what, what I say when I greet my viewers. Please have 368. I'm going to cry if you don't have page 368. Ooh, we do. What I say? Is it a piece of dialogue or like the first line? Of, like, what is it? The first piece of dialogue. Okay. I'm pretty sure they talk in this one. Oh. I would lose subscribers if I said this. Who's the idiot now? We're just gonna put you right over there. <laughs> My channel is Ripples Rising, and I talk about cats. But every single video, I talk about who's the idiot now. Yikes. Um, I'm not so yeet yeet yeet. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. You decide to write a book. Put the page of numbers you're given. Using words from that page, create a book title. Oh, no. 617. Which one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 17. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. No! This is about to be cheesy. Dark Diaries, uh, 10. We're gonna go to page 273. Do you even have a 273? It does. Darn. Channel name. Oh, wait, no, not channel name. Book name. Book title. The CCP Mean Girl. That sounds like a really good book. Talk about all the girls that bully people in high school. Find the book using your coordinates, and you will see, what? The first line you will see will be the opening line of your book. Okay, so 3, 10, 27. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The girl who kicked the hornet's nest, and we're going to go to page 27 to find the opening line of my book. Um, CCP Mean Girl. Is that a buzz? That's where I thought that was a buzz. Papa said, like, did y'all miss school today? The first line of my book will be, You can make your call from Kung Shulman. I don't know what Kung Shulman is, but apparently I learned about it to write my book and then the next few lines talk about being arrested so um okay let me write this down ccp mean girls book title with opening line you can call from kong showman i even spell that right oh boy The next question is, plot twist, the reason you, you even create a new identity for yourself is because a killer was after you. Really? <laughs> Whether you're a mega famous author and YouTuber, they track you down again, they're coming for you. Find that book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you're given, and the first character you will see will be your killer. Five. This one. 2877 is Wires and Nerd Volume 2 called Gone Rogue. And we're gonna go to page 77. Oop, just pass it. To find the name of my killer. The name of my killer is Queen of Luna. In this particular book, the Queen of Luna is Cinder, and she. Sh I. Oof, okay. <laughs> 
because we're going to put my killer is Queen of Luna, aka Cinder. How many more questions do we have? Okay. One day you're setting up to film a YouTube video and you suddenly struck by the killer. Find your book. Find the book using your coordinates. Flip the page to the page number you're given. And the first object you come across is what they use to kill you. Four thirty three two twenty one. Okay. The book we have here is by Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lou. We're going to turn to page 21. 221, I mean, to find the object they killed me with. Black drapes. So I'm assuming they took my drape slash curtains from somewhere and suffocated me with it. That's a very violent death there. Hopefully my children and my husband was nowhere nearby. Um, see that gruesome death. Find the book using your coordinates. Put the page to the page number you were given and the first line you see will go on your tombstone. You are terrible. So I just finished this list of coordinates. I'm going to go to the next list. So we came back. We're going to do... <clears throat> having all of them load. 42920... 222. Okay. So that's the same shelf. Oh my gosh, my knees. This is A Christmas Story by Jean Shepard. This does, does it even have a page 222? Right, next book. A Christmas Story didn't have a 222, so I picked the book next to it, and that is Replica by Lauren Oliver. See, the thing about this book is that it's, you can flip it, there's two stories. So, I don't know which side to choose. I guess I could do both. Looking for the words on my tombstone. Lyra's heart leaped, and on the other side... She leaped into the mess. She leaped into the mess she dragged him into. So Lyra's heart leaped into the mess she dragged him into. Who's Lyra? <laughs> okay, so that is the flip that page challenge. Here is the stack of books that I have accumulated for this challenge. And now we're going to go back and summarize my whole life. My name is Kai. I live in the United States and I work as a librarian. I fell in love with my coworker, Du Brickman. And in the process of trying to get him to fall in love with me, I said, in case you change your mind. And over time, you know, I decided to propose and I proposed with a key. During our vows, my first line discussed different things. For example, monster cake vows. On our honeymoon, we decided to go hang out at Williamsburg, and things got a little wild. and things got a little wild. We ended up getting pregnant, and our first child was born, named Ekstrom. Five years, <clears throat> five years later, our child—I don't know if it's a boy or a girl—that seems like a pretty neutral name—demanded um, for a pet, but unfortunately, we could not find any pets, so we decided to give them a toy car, which they were somewhat satisfied with. They eventually went to Proud Beast High School, and while they were gone, I decided that I want to start a YouTube channel as a hobby. And that channel was called Glittering Ripples, where I talk about cats. And my intro is, who's the idiot now? Somehow my channel is successful, even though I say that every time. At some point, I decided that it's time for me to write a book, and that book is called CCP Mean Girls. With the opening line saying, you can call from Kung Shoman. Kung Shoman. <laughs> wow. It is later discovered that I had created this new identity in this whole new life because a killer is after me. And finally, that killer has caught up with me. My killer, the Queen of Luna, aka Cinder, has come in and killed me using my black traits. Which I'm assuming she used to suffocate me or to strangle me. 
and at my funeral on my tombstone it says Lyra's heart leaped into the mess she created or mess something like that Me mess she created something or mess she made with him whatever who's Lyra why is she on my tombstone I'm dead <clears throat> life is lit um this is wild <laughs> Especially if you have like a wide range of books, you're going to get a pretty random storyline. And I do enjoy watching these because they come up with some pretty random shoot. Um, pretty random stuff. For example, if you had like one shelf all romance and then one shelf all fantasy, you're kind of going back and forth between like steamy stuff and like death. I think that's fun. I, uh, yes, yeah, so I did look it up. This was created by Jesse the Reader. If you like to do this channel challenge and if you have to watch his original video i will link both of those down below i also think the ones that i watched first which i believe was Brittany and emma i think it was emma i'll link those down below i even put the questions down below and i think that's gonna be it for today so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video i do have quite a lot of videos going like up and about the next between now which is the 31st and um february so stay tuned for those